Hi everyone. Welcome to this new series of Adobe Illustrator videos where I'll be drawing shoes. The first shoe that I'm going to do is a derby. This is a good basic to get started on. Attached with this video you will find a file with a last in it. Use this file to draw with so that we can all be on the same page and we can work through this together. So what we're going to do is, as you know, we're going to draw the derby and to do that we're going to use the side view of the last for the men's round toe. You'll have this file as part of the series of videos and you'll have it open by now I'm sure and we can start. So what I'm going to do is first of all make sure that I've only got a fill, a stroke, not a fill. So I've removed the fill and I'm going to change my stroke color to red so that I can differentiate between the stroke and that I'm using and the line underneath. Following on from there I'm going to open up my pen tools. So you'll notice that when there are other tools underneath a tool there'll be a little black triangle and that'll denote that there's another tool under there. If I press my mouse down and hold my left mouse button down and drag my mouse to the end of those two tools. You see how that grey bar goes darker grey? I let go and I basically take the tools out of the toolbox and have them ready and waiting to go. So if I come down to the pen tool we see the same little black triangle. I click onto that, drag my mouse across holding the left mouse button down and I detach the pen tools. Now we're ready to start. Usually to move around the work area I press the space bar and a little hand will come up. I'm also going to zoom in to that shoe so that I've got a nice close view of it to the template and I'm going to start. The point where I'm going to start is at the counterpoint which is as you know from making shoes one-fifth of the length of the foot up the heel. I'm just using my eye for this so I'm going to say that the counterpoint is, you can imagine that's the end of the bone of the heel, the counterpoint would be just a little bit above that. So I've started to draw, I've put my first anchor point down. What you see, that pink line that you see is actually a preview. It's not a line that I've drawn. I just clicked once and I lifted my mouse and I moved it away. I'm coming to now put my second anchor point down and I'm going to do this approximately halfway between the heel point and the counter point. So click. Now while it, when I click I'm going to hold my left mouse button down and drag. Here what I'm doing is dragging out handles and these handles, the top left handle shapes the line that I'm drawing and the bottom right handle will shape the next line. So I'm going to keep these quite close to the template. Drag it out until I've got a nice shape so you'll see the preview going from the counter point to this anchor point and I'm going to let go of the mouse. Now you see the, the line preview underneath that sort of at the bottom of that anchor point I've just drawn. If I come straight down to the heel point. I can see that I once I click I'm going to have to drag so that I can do that shaping again. But if I were to keep moving from here can you see how round that line is? I really want it to be a point. So what I'm going to do is click back into the anchor point. There you'll see that upside down V. Click and then I'm going to move on to keep shaping that line. I'll come just past the end step and what I will do later is actually fix that up so we'll show you how you can do that. Dragging, so you see all the time how I'm clicking and dragging my handles in line with the template. I just clicked once at the toe cap because I don't want to have any shaping in there just yet. I want that to be a nice sharp corner. I come up to the top of the shoe and I'm going to just go a little bit above 
the shape of this shoe because I want my toe to be a little rounder. I'm coming up onto the throat of the shoe. Click and drag. And then I'm going to finish and close the shape. So you'll see the little circle there. The shape is closed. Back to my selection tool and I'm going to go through using my spacebar to move and just tidy up a couple of things. So I don't like the fact that that isn't coming down. So what I'm going to do is with my direct selection I'm going to click onto that path find the anchor point over there and I'm actually going to move it back a little to about there and adjust the handles so that I can get that line more in line with the template and I'll stretch so when I'm using my direct selection just to adjust handles so that I can get my line more aligned with the template. And there you have it. So that's nice and easy. Over here, what I'm going to do over here is I'm actually going to use my anchor point tool, Shift C, to drag that shape down and then with my direct selection I'm going to lift that shape there and drag that in. Once we're happy with that shape and we've completed it and we think it's looking right, what we're going to do is put a fill in stroke in it and I'm going to let you go ahead and try this on your own. So I come up, I select the shape, come up to the fill, I'm going to put a bright yellow fill in and a black stroke. 